Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to explain you various objective type questions on motion chapter. Let's begin with the first question. Dash is the change in position of an object with respect to a fixed position with time. We can say the change in position to be motion. I can show you with an example here. You can see that the boy is moving from the house and he is reaching the school. So he is said to be in motion. Okay. The position of the boy is changed. Okay. The position of the boy is changed. That means there is a change in the position of the boy with respect to fixed point. Here the reference point or the fixed point is school. So the object is said to be in motion. The correct answer is option C. Okay. Next question. To describe the position of an object, we need to specify a reference point called what will be the reference point we call it as see when we take an object we need to take a reference point so if you take a graph and you say that a person is moving from this reference point and he is reaching this point okay so from here to here the distance the motion is taking place from here to here so this reference point we call it as origin we call it as origin this is x-axis and this is y-axis so the option D is the correct answer a vector quantity has option A direction option B magnitude option C both magnitude and direction so here the vector quantity has both magnitude and direction that will be the correct answer option C is the correct answer Which of the following graph shows that the body is at rest? So in the first figure the distance is same. In the second figure displacement is increasing. In the third figure velocity is constant. And uh, in the fourth figure the velocity droops. So here when the distance covered is the same. When the distance covered is the same we say that the body is said to be at rest because it is not moving the distance is same initial position also the same distance and final position also the same distance so therefore the body is said to be at rest so the figure a will be the correct answer are rest and motion absolute or relative terms see here they are said to be relative terms because when I consider here a boy you can see a boy standing under the tree okay this tree is stationary for the person for the boy who is standing but for this particular person who is driving the car for him the tree seems to be moving because he is in motion the same object tree is supposed to be moving for the person who is in the car and for the person standing it is at rest so therefore we can say that they are relative terms okay so we can say that the rest and motion are relative terms. Option B is the correct answer. Okay. 
what is the essential to describe the position of an object we need a reference point so option a to specify time option b to specify the state of object to specify a reference point called origin and option d none of these option yes so option c will be the correct because it requires a reference point it requires a reference point that's right so what is the simplest type of motion the simplest type of motion is the motion in a straight line okay option b is the correct answer if the object of if the position of an object does not change with the time it is said to be in motion or at rest if it does not change with the time position does not change means he will be in the same place so whether he will be in motion or at rest or both of these or none of these he will be at rest because there is no change in the position so option b is the correct answer if the position of the object changes as the time passes it is said to be see if the position is changing then we can say that it is at motion so option a is the correct answer reference point is a fixed point with respect to which a body is at rest or in motion that's true that is true option a a physical quantity which has both magnitude and direction is known as vector scalar distance and speed a quantity which has both magnitude as well as direction we call it as vector quantity option a is the correct answer a physical quantity which has only magnitude is known as the one which has only magnitude is known as option a displacement option b velocity option c scalar option d vector only magnitude that means having only value that means it is scalar quantity option c is the correct answer dash is the actual length of the path followed by the object actual length means displacement or velocity or distance or speed actual length or actual path that means it is distance so option c is the correct answer dash is the shortest distance or shortest path covered by an object from the point of reference it is displacement or velocity or distance or speed the shortest distance we call it as displacement so option a is the correct answer displacement for a course of motion may be zero yes displacement can be zero when the initial point and the final point is same but the corresponding distance covered is not zero that is also true distance cannot be zero only displacement can be zero displacement and distance covered may not always be equal uh it is not always equal sometimes it can be equal it can be equal also it's not always be equal we cannot say like that that is false so therefore uh, assertion is true but the reason is false so option a option b option c, option c and option d so we can say that option b because assertion is true and the reason we say the displacement and distance covered may not always be equal yes they cannot be always be equal they can be uh, greater than or lesser than okay so distance can be greater than or uh, displacement can be lesser okay but uh, displacement can't be greater only distance can be greater and equal okay but uh, we say displacement for a course of motion may be zero how it is zero we did not justify and say therefore this is not the apt reason but that's the reason is okay but it is not the apt reason for the assertion so option b both assertion a and the reason are true okay and the reason r is not the correct explanation of assertion so here we say that distance and displacement covered may not always be equal yes it cannot always be equal it can be varying that's true okay so now is distance a scalar quantity 
sorry displacement a scalar quantity displacement has specific direction so therefore it is not a scalar quantity so no when do the distance and displacement of a moving object have the same magnitude when they will have the same magnitude when in a straight line in one direction at a circular motion in curved line and none of these see when it is in a straight line a to b the object is moving so the distance from a to b is also same and shortest path is also the same so distance and displacement will be equal in this case option e is the correct answer when it moves in a straight line in one direction dash is the shortest distance between the initial and the final position of the body in a known direction the shortest distance between initial and final is going to be displacement or velocity or distance or speed it is displacement that's right the si unit of distance and displacement is centimeter meter ampere none of these it is meter option b is the correct answer the distance and displacement are different physical quantities distance is yes okay distance and displacement are different physical quantities distance is the actual length while the displacement is the directed distance between initial and final portion both are correct okay both assertion and reason are true and reason is the correct explanation of assertion so it is option a is the correct answer so here in this question in this figure the particle is moving in a circle with the center o uh, with o as center and a o is equal to ob is equal to 5 cm it is shown in the figure as a radius so an object is moving from the path a to b okay he is moving from a to b what is the distance covered when it reaches b what is the distance covered we need to find distance means the actual path this is the actual path that means half of the circumference so it is half of the circumference that means 2 pi r divided by 2 half of the circumference that is going to be the displacement okay that's going to be the displacement okay so here this and this get cancelled what is the radius value it's 5 centimeter no so 5 pi answer will be 5 pi that's right option a 5 pi option b 10 pi option c 5 centimeter option d 10 centimeter 5 pi is the correct answer okay option a is the correct answer so the same question but they are asking you to find out the displacement displacement means the shortest path where is the shortest path so from the point a to b from the point a to b shortest path is this so it is 5 plus 5 it is 10 so therefore the correct answer will be 10 centimeter along a b option c is the correct answer not c a okay option d is c a option c is the correct answer a farmer moves along the boundary of a square field okay so a farmer is moving around the boundary of the square field of each side is 10 meter so we take each side to be 10 meter okay and uh, is moving from this particular point a this is b this is c and this is d okay and what will be the magnitude of displacement of the farmer at the end of 2 minutes 20 seconds what is 2 minutes 20 seconds 2 minutes 20 seconds 20 seconds 2 minutes is going to be 2 into 60 which is 120 120 plus 20 which is 140 140 seconds so after 140 seconds where he will be so he is taking to cover this square field he is taking around 40 seconds that means 40 meter he is he is going around the perimeter of the square what is the perimeter of the square 40 plus 40 plus 40 plus 40 it is 
40 meter so he is moving 40 meter for 40 seconds that means 120 means 3 rounds he will go and he will reach the point A 40 for 1 round second round 80 third round 120 and he 140 seconds for after 140 seconds what uh, where he will reach 10 plus 10 so therefore he will reach the point C after 140 seconds so three round three round three and a half rounds so he goes around three and a half rounds to the boundary of the square so he reaches this particular point C okay what is the distance between A and C now we have to apply Pythagoras theorem so applying Pythagoras theorem square root of 100 into 2 square root of 100 square 10 square plus 10 square it's going to be what 100 plus 100 which is 2 times of 100 which is going to be 10 root 2 10 root 2 is the correct answer so option C is the correct answer 10 root 2 the magnitude of the displacement is greater than the distance traveled by the object no magnitude of displacement will always be lesser than or equal lesser than or equal only distance will be greater than right so they, it is false option b it is false displacement of an body may be zero when the distance traveled by it is it is not zero yes that's true the displacement is the longest distance between initial and the final position that's also right so that's the reason is also correct okay it's a uh, longest distance oh sorry displacement is the so you read the question very carefully it is not the longest distance it is the shortest distance so therefore this is wrong so uh, this is true and this is false so therefore option c assertion a is true and r is false so we have to go for the option c option c is the correct answer okay the displacement of an body may be zero though its distance is finite that's true if the body has moved then the displacement is zero when the initial and the final portions are same that's true while the distance is finite that's true so option a and b are correct and a reason is the correct statement of assertion so therefore option a is the correct answer option a is the correct answer if a body moves fairly fast then it's a movement can be easily observed yes we can easily observe when it moves fast when it is moving slowly it is very difficult it is it becomes difficult to observe its uh, movement immediately yes we can't observe its movement immediately so that's true even this is also true distance is always equal to displacement it cannot be always equal so therefore it is false distance cannot be always equal it can be greater than or equal to okay so si unit of distance is centimeter meter millimeter decimeter so it's meter si unit of distance is meter larger unit will be kilometer smaller units will be centimeter and millimeter okay but actually si unit is going to be meter only distance is a vector quantity distance is having no direction distance doesn't have any particular direction so it's a scalar quantity so therefore it is false only displacement has directions okay so that is said to be vector quantity 30 second question the distance traveled by a body moving body cannot be zero yes distance cannot be zero that's true distance cannot be zero that's true whereas displacement can be zero the final displacement of a body can be zero yes it can be zero final displacement can be zero because it is moving to the same point right so in the above figure find the distance traveled from a to a so an object is moving from this particular point it moves like this and it comes here so what would be distance distance means the longest path so it has traveled 5 plus 3 plus 4 okay so it's 12 kilometer 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 4 it's 12 kilometer so option c is the correct answer 12 kilometer that's the distance so the same problem is given they are asking you to find out the displacement displacement means the shortest path 
a to a it's going to be zero so option b is the correct answer option b is the correct answer that's right so here in this figure they have given a circular path and the radius is given what will be the distance covered from a to a so a to a it's going to be the circumference 2 pi r it's going to be circumference 2 pi r okay option a is the correct answer and for the same problem they are asking you to find out the displacement displacement means the shortest path from a to a it's going to be zero it's going to be zero option d is the correct answer a man travels a distance of 1.5 meter towards east okay a man travels 1.5 meter uh, towards the east this is east okay and uh, 2 kilometer so this is 2 kilometer sorry 2 meter or 2 kilometer 2 meter 2 meter towards the south this is south okay this is east east direction and this is south direction okay uh, south direction 2 meter and then uh, finally 4.5 meter towards the east again so east means it has to go this way okay 4.5 kilometer it is moving 4.5 kilo 4.5 meter sorry meter so now we need to find we need to find what the distance isn't it so we need to find the distance let us find the distance here see here so it is 1.5 this is uh, 2 and this is 4.5 4.5 this is 2 meter and this is 1.5 meter so we need to find this is the initial point and this is the final point so we need to find the total distance total distance means 1.5 plus 2 plus 4.5 okay how much it is uh, 6.5 plus uh, 1.5 it is 8 so 8 meter is the correct answer okay so now we will move on 8 meter is the correct answer option C the same problem but they are asking you to find out the displacement displacement will be like this so this is 1.5 meter and this is 2 meter and this is 4.5 meter okay 4.5 meter so now this is the initial position and this is the final position so we need to calculate the distance this distance so how to calculate this distance from here to here we need to take this as one right angle triangle this is another right angle triangle so exactly it divides the half so therefore this is one and this is one approximately you can take so this distance hypotenuse you can calculate so this hypotenuse you take it as a b and this is c okay a b so we need to find a b what will be a b a b is equal to square root of 1.5 square that is 2.25 2.25 plus 1 that is 3.35 so what is square root of 3.25 square root of 3.25 it will be around 1.6 something or 6 or 1.7 something okay that will be ab so next uh, we need to go for yes so along with this we need to go for finding what is this uh, bc how to find bc bc can be found by taking square root of 4.5 square this is square plus this square okay so it's Pythagoras theorem applying that so therefore 4.5 square 4.5 square will be something around 21 okay so 4.5 into 4.5 mm, plus 1 so it is 22 root 22 so we need to find root 22 so it will be around 4 point something 4 point something four point something okay so four point six or something six or four point and this is four point seven okay one point seven this will be um, one point seven that is 
3.25 square root if I take the square root of 3 is 1.7 now so if you add this 1.7 and 4.6 so you'll be getting around 6.3 so 6.3 will be the correct answer option A is the correct answer 6.3 okay so distance is a scalar quantity or vector quantity it has no direction only the magnitude so it's a scalar quantity displacement is a scalar quantity or vector quantity it has both magnitude and direction so it's a vector quantity an ant travels a distance of 8 meter 8 centimeter from the point p to q and then moves a distance of 6 centimeter at right angles to pq okay find the resultant displacement that means an ant is moving from p to q okay and it moves at a right angle so this is 8 centimeter and moves as a right angle uh, distance of 6 centimeter okay find uh, the resultant distance a display a resultant displacement displacement is this one resultant displacement so what it will be displacement means you need to find out this distance so 8 square plus 6 square square root of that if you take you will get this value this pr okay so pr distance is going to be 64 plus 36 uh, square root of this is going to be root 100 root 100 is 10 so it is 10 centimeter that's the correct answer option b A particle is moving in a circular path of a radius r and the displacement after half a circle would be displacement after half a circle. See, it is moving from this particular point to this particular point you think. This is the radius r. And half a circle it is moving from here to here. So that means it will have half of the circumference which it is, which will give you pi r. So pi r will be the will be the what pi r will be the distance pi r will be the distance here they have not asked you the distance they have asked you the displacement displacement means it's going to be 2 r option yes option c is the correct answer because it's moving half of this no so therefore it is r plus r so it is 2 r option c is the correct answer Numerical ratio of the displacement to distance for a moving object is See here displacement I'll take it as D and distance I'll take it as S If you take the ratio of this uh, displacement is always lesser than Okay displacement is always lesser than the distance It's lesser than distance that means in the numerator it is lesser than denominator That means it will always be lesser than or equal to 1 okay it will be always equal to 1 or lesser than 1 option d is the correct answer if it is moves in a straight line it will be equal equal means it will cancel and will give 1 and uh, always we know that the displacement numerator it's always be less so therefore it will be if on a round trip you travel 6 kilometer and then arrive back home what distance you have traveled oh yes see ma that means you are moving you are traveling you are taking a round trip to travel six kilometer this is six kilometer you are taking six kilometer like this and you reach this particular point what distance you have traveled this is the distance this 60 kilometer distance only you have traveled so it's six kilometer round trip and you come back home actually it's a round trip you should read the question carefully okay it's not a straight line it's a round trip fine okay so option d is the correct answer your body travels a distance of three kilometer distance of three kilometer towards east this is the east okay and then four kilometer towards north 
or fine so moves towards the north this is 4 km and this is 3 km and finally towards east this is 9 km this is 9 km towards the east ok and we need to find what is the total distance total distance means you add all these 9 plus 4 is 13, 13 plus 3 is 16, 16 kilometer. Option B is the correct answer. Now, the same problem is given but asking resultant displacement. 3 kilometer towards east. Towards east and then north 4 kilometer and then 9 kilometer towards east. Okay, these are all in kilometers. Now we need to find this distance from here to here, displacement, shortest distance. So that means uh, this will be half 2, this will be 2, this will be 2 plus 2. Okay, and uh, this will be 3 and that will be 9. So now we need to calculate this hypotenuse side. So this is A, this is B and this is C you think. So what will be AB? AB will be equal to a b will be equal to 3 square square root of 9 plus 2 square 2 square is how much 4 so square root of 13 so a b is equal to square root of 13 square root of 13 3 point something okay 3 point something and when we go for this uh, what is it this particular ah, yeah we need to find bc distance what will be bc bc will be equal to square root of 9 square is 81 81 plus the square root of 2 is 4 it's 85 85 square root of 85 it's going to be 9 point something so it's going to be 9 point something 9 point 9 plus 3 is 12 12 point something so option c is the correct answer okay option c is the correct answer 12.6 What does the odometer of an automobile measure? Option A. Time taken by an automobile to cover a distance of 1 km. Option B. Speed of an automobile. Option C. The total distance travelled by an automobile. Option D. Average velocity of an automobile. Actually, odometer is an instrument used to measure the distance. That is the total distance travelled by an automobile. So, option C is the correct answer. We have discussed various objective type questions on the concept of rest and motion. Physical quantities like scalar quantity and vector quantity. And also we have seen the concept of distance and displacement. Finally, numericals on distance and displacement. If you like the video, kindly click the like button and Subscribe my channel to get notifications for the upcoming videos. Thank you.